Hey Taurus, what's going on? Hope all is well. We're going to hop into your reading and see what I pick up on currently happening with you and the person on your mind or honestly, whoever comes through on the reading, okay? <laughs> this could be someone you are heavily thinking about or this person could be heavily thinking about you and it comes through, you know, maybe there's a message here for you. Maybe there isn't, um, but yeah, please feel free to hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. If you do choose to subscribe, make sure you hit the notifications bell. Okay, Taurus, y'all, George has been sitting in my chair. I, I can, I'm like, uh, the other day I was wondering cause I like my throat was feeling itchy. I was getting like this itchy feeling too. Um, so I, the only way I could, it, it was like an itchy feeling in my mouth. That's the only way I could say that, Taurus. Okay. <laughs> and I'm like, what the hell is going on? Cause that feels like I'm having an allergic reaction. And yeah, I think I saw him earlier sitting in this chair, you know, people watching out of the window. Um, so I'm saying that cause I'm feeling a little, like I'm starting to get irritated. Um, all right, hopefully I can finish this reading. I'm going to have to wash this slip cover. Thank God it's a slip cover. Yeah, he can't. I don't know, y'all. They say every two years your um, allergies change. And I have, like, developed, I'm starting to develop, like, a severe allergy to, like, you know, animal hair. If there's, like, a bunch of animal hair. I know y'all don't care about this. But it's weird. If there's like a bunch of animal hair, you know, in a, a particular area, I start having a reaction. So anyway, Taurus is like, girl, you know, we, you know, we don't care. You know, that's not why we clicked on this reading. OK. All right. Here we go. Taurus. Let's see how you and your person are moving forward together, Taurus, Universe, Source, Spirit. How are Taurus and your person moving forward together? What's going on with these? Okay. Reflection. Huh. You got broken and commitment. This card, bear, I don't even know. Maybe it's come out one time and that I think was on an extended reading. I, this is like the one card that barely comes out. It makes me sad. Anyway. Um... <laughs> But uh, yeah, reflection. So I'm showing you that because it's like, it's like right here. Um, you have broken, I feel shattered about the situation. Commitment, I want to be a part, I want you to be a part of my future. And reflection, being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity is the primary energy I'm getting here. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. Let's pull more cards and then we're going to circle back to this, okay? Because the cards will let me know more about what's going on um, with reflection. Now, I will tell you this. The card I get, doesn't she look like Adele? Like every time I see this, I think of Adele. And Adele is a Taurus. I, I believe so. You can look it up and correct me if I'm wrong. I apologize. But um, mm, hello from the other side. Is a message I'm getting here. Hello from the other side. Um, interesting. But yeah, reflection usually gives me like five of cups energy, four of cups energy. Okay. Thinking about the past could be a hermit energy too. Okay. Taking a step back and looking at what's happened. All right. Get an animal spirit. Can you show me Taurus's person, personal Taurus's mind, universe, Taurus spirit? Can you show, oh wow, Whoa. these cards are coming out. We got scorpion, um, gazelle. So we got fire, Aries, Leo, Sag. And I get a lot of Aries energy with this, with the gazelle and the scorpion. And then you have earthworm as your primary. So this could be another earth sign, um, Capricorn, another Taurus or Virgo here. 
Okay, so, hmm. I'm wondering if your person is the, yeah, that, so I, I'm getting like the commitment vibe from your person here, Taurus, like whoever this is. I'm hearing like committed to taking a new step, committed to starting a new journey, com committed to like starting off like a, like a fresh, like a new start with you. Okay, Taurus. All right. I do get a lot of nervousness with the gazelle, the earthworm. Even the Scorpion card gives me a bit of like paranoia. So I'm getting like a combination of like paranoia with your person, nervousness, very shy, very like reluctant to open up right now. Okay. But regardless, I'm getting committed. Where is the book at? Oh, shoot. The book is down there. It's okay. Can you show me, please, um, I feel like this person wants to open up to you. I want you to be a part of my future. Some of you, this could be about like proposal. If that, if you're watching this reading and that resonates for you, like this person could be wanting to propose maybe it's like proposing some sort of new idea here yeah because i'm getting newness with your person but literally this could be about marriage okay wanting to propose the idea of marriage with you or something that like binds you two together okay maybe living together things like that taurus okay um Can you please uh, show me how uh, how Taurus is coming up here? How is Taurus showing up here for who this is right now? Okay. The spider. Ooh, you got the tarantula. You've got the snake. Wow, so Taurus, you all are um, very focused on... Um, a new start, a new journey. A lot of people are getting this. Maybe it's just people that, you know, um, that watch the channel. Okay. So a number of you, Taurus, could be... Okay, for some of you, the storyline that I'm getting here is that you're looking to move. You're looking to move to a new location. Let's say if this is somebody you're married to or you currently live with. I'm hearing like they don't want you to move out. Okay, so that may resonate with one of you. Okay, I don't know. But I'm hearing like this person is not wanting you to move out. And that's why they're so shy. And um, I get a lot of ego with that. Is something with their ego, Taurus. And they're not, um, their ego is holding them back. Like they, they want to say, Taurus, don't go. Taurus, don't move. Taurus, don't leave. Okay. Now, this could be for a number of things, you know. Just allow it to resonate how it resonates. Okay. There's somebody here where, where you're like, you know, and a part of you may feel broken about this or your person does. And, and yeah, maybe you're, you know, I don't know. I feel like it may be your person more so here, Taurus, that's feeling like a bit broken up about this. I need to pull more cards. But for you, I see you very focused, like. I'll put it to you like this. This is somebody with the tarantula, the spider, and the page of wands. You're seeing potential in something new. You're seeing potential in, you know, um, you, you, you could be 
apartment hunting, house hunting, job hunting, okay? Um, this is somebody preparing to start a new journey. That's what I get with you here, Taurus, okay? Excuse me. Mama got herself a espresso machine today, by the way. <laughs> Y'all, I think I, I think I'm getting it. I'm, you know, it takes me a while to figure some stuff out, but when I figure it out, yeah, I think we're good with this espresso. I was like, something's got to give, man. You know. I know all the, all the, you know. <laughs> I'm all about the natural, first of all. And, you know, I was doing the Earl Grey with the caffeine and, you know, the tea with the caffeine, putting a little cayenne pepper and putting my ginger and all that. Um, Y'all, listen, you know, if you're a mom, you know. And if you're also running a business, all that type of stuff, you need some coffee. You need some coffee up in there. All right, here we go. So can you please show me how is this person, clarify how this person is showing up here for Taurus right now, okay? Ooh, I'm about to talk to you like you're my homegirl. Girl, look at, look at big, look at big Zaddy showing up in your reading. Look at Zaddy. <laughs> Listen, this is somebody like, please don't, don't go. Look, just stay here. I told you I get a lot of ego. So this person, very masculine, okay. Um, sheesh, who is this Taurus? Wow, the emperor with the star. I don't know how this is going to resonate with you all, Taurus, because this, seem, this seems somebody like you would like a lot. Are they just, well, that's okay. We can't assume that that what, what storyline I'm getting is going to resonate for all of you. But this seems like somebody you would like, you know. I just heard no Taurus, you know, Taurus does like this person, whoever this is. This is like divine partner type of energy. This is like destined partner. Um, I just heard some of you don't know who this is. So for, for a number of you, you either don't know who this is yet, but remember I got the fool. You don't know who this is, wait, but hold on. You don't know that they feel like this, but you do know who this is. Okay. This person could be older than you. I get a very dominant, very masculine, very like established, very sought after individual, whoever this is, Taurus. Like this is somebody you would like. Remember all that? Um, I, I, I said Aries. I get a lot of Aries. Yeah. So I don't know if this, if this person has some sort of like, oh, y'all, I'm getting North Node and Aries. So for some of you, Taurus, I have to say this, this is going to be somebody that you align with. I'm getting divine partner like this is someone I don't know if y'all know them or not. OK, so I'm gonna come up off that. I don't know if you know them or not. But. With the North Node being in Aries. A lot of you are probably going to get a serious you're going to end up in a serious relationship with whoever this is that I'm thinking about. Look, remember, I told you I got commitment. Oh, I'm getting chills. And that's why I got like, remember I said this doesn't come out very often. So yeah, definitely getting like divine partnership. This is somebody like. Wow. 
for a lot of you, this person has it already made up in their mind, like Taurus is it. Taurus is the one. This is my one. This is who I'm going to marry, be with. They've already made up their mind. So if you are dating, even dating or started dating this person, they are like, oh, I'm set on Taurus. Sheesh. Yeah. Wow. Whew. The Knight of Cups with the Six of Wands. So we've got major like lover, like lover boy, romantic. Okay. Um, this could also be, you know, I, I think that you bring out Taurus and it, it doesn't matter what gender, sex, whatever they identify with. You bring out this very like romantic side of this emperor and this is somebody i'm just going to tell you this is someone already operating in their um um their 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 field okay this is somebody operating in their purpose that's what i want to say wherever this is how you'll know is they do like something associated with their career um either something about it divinely aligns with you taurus also, they are in their divine purpose. They're aligned with that. Now, but whoever this is, you know, you bring out this like very lover, like pay attention to me, Taurus. Come here. Let me, let me, let me offer you something. You bring out like a softer side of this person. Yeah, I think to... Um, this person comes up very like untouchable with the star and the emperor. So to other people, what I'm hearing is this person's very untouchable, hard to reach. Think about the star. All right. Aquarius energy, um, very hard to reach. This person may be um, somebody who uh, wears a uniform. Okay. They're in a place of authority. You understand? I'm very high ranking. Okay. That's why I'm like, Taurus, you would like who this is. You really would. Probably in great shape. Okay. Maybe a little older, but I think you bring out that. I feel like they're like, mm, I want to have fun with Taurus. Okay. All right, let's see. For Taurus, for some of you, if this is your, oh, wow. What? <laughs> As I'm about to say, Taurus, if this is your husband or your wife and, and you're like traveling and you're away from them or they're away from you, they miss you. That's what this, if you came across this reading and you wanted to know how does your partner feel about you, they miss you. They really do. And they can't wait till you get home. I feel like Taurus, you're kind of like in that same vibe, okay? I'm getting like a, a husband and a wife or a partner partnership here where two people are like, you know, like, damn, I miss my, I miss my person, okay? Um, Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Clarify Taurus. I'm going to pull a card again though here. Clarify Taurus. How's Taurus showing up for who this is? Is Taurus showing up for their person? Okay. The moon. You got the lovers and the knight of swords. Okay. The first thing I heard was you are such a mystery to who this is. And I think that um, I think that you are a mystery. Um, hold on.
because I always pay attention to these two wolves here. I'm also getting like a very, um, here we got the Knight of Swords. I'm also getting like this very unaware energy. Where, werewolf. Yeah, I'm getting like, I feel like I see you with the moon. You're picking up on a lot, like with your intuition, I see you. Like you're picking up on a lot. Almost like you can feel this person. You can feel it. Some of you, if you haven't met who this is yet, with the moon, it's like your your intuition and like divine guidance, you know, there's something here where you're like, I know my person, you're like, I know my person is, is like right here. I know it. Like I, you know, for you, I'm just imagining being you. You're like, I know it. I can feel it. I think you're also like even watching this reading with the moon. I think you're like, who is this? You know, like who the hell is this? I don't know. I'm just reading the cards. I know what I see though. Some of you have a dominant like Cancer Pisces placement here. Hmm. Hold on, reflection, the moon. There could be some reflection right there. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. I think a number of you dream about who this is or this per you show up in this person's dream or they show up in your dreams, Taurus, here, okay? Okay, hold on. Clarify who, um, how this person shows up here for Taurus right now show up here Taurus the hammer hold on I feel like this is like a building up this is like a, a build up here like this person um, like preparing the proposal. That's what I'm getting here. Okay. Um, preparing. Working on it. Hold on. For some of you, if this is your person, like I mentioned before, I feel like they're almost like um, working on things at home. Okay. Hold on. Persistent. Clarify, um, Taurus here. How's Taurus showing up here? Look who this is. Okay. The sword and the rose. Clarity, truth, revelation. Solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. Oh, okay. So you have some, remember there was a mystery here that I was getting. I'm getting mystery with you, but uh, some of you, like you're, you're clear. Hold on. You're like, you know a truth. You have a truth here. You know the truth. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. So there's the sword and the rose. Okay. Hmm. Oh. 
karmic relationship came up. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Excuse me. Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, Taurus. Um, no, this is somebody you definitely, you definitely want. Um, I was right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think that you're like looking to go in and do the work here. I think that you're wanting to receive you're wanting effort from who this is Taurus you're you know I think you're wanting the best possible outcome I do think for a number a number of you you feel like you know this is the one with the star and the emperor okay I am getting that you're wanting success but there's something here um You know, towards for a number of you, I'm getting, again, I don't know which side is which, but some of you may be worried that something can't be fixed, okay? Like in this period of reflection that I'm getting with you, Taurus, a number of you are like kind of in this place of, you know, with broken I feel like this is you. I feel shattered about this situation. You have clarity here. Um, and I feel like that's clarity on like some sort of lesson here that you've learned, okay, in the connection. Again, this isn't you. It's not you. So, mm, you definitely want this person to come in. And they want to. I mean, that's very clear. They want to. It's just, you know, it's taking some time. That's it. I feel like you still have hope. I think you do. I think you still have hope. Um... I think reflecting on things, because I literally said, well, what, you know, what truth has Taurus realized in its karmic relationship? I get a mixture of emotions with you. I do. I think you, you know, I've said this in another reading. I think you show up like the moon because I feel like you go in phases with how you feel about who this is, okay? But I think the ultimate clarity that I'm getting with you, Taurus, with how you feel is you want to talk to this person. You want a breakthrough. You want the best possible outcome, okay? If that doesn't really hit, this isn't your reading, okay? Because I have to read the card till I get it. But this is someone that you would like, things to work out in the best possible way you would like. Um, it's like almost like you having a breakthrough with who this is would be confirmation for you, Taurus. Like, all right, that's the one right there. You know, if they relay information to you, if they come in and they talk to you, Taurus, for you, you know, that is wish fulfillment. That's you feeling like 
that's what I wanted. And that's your confirmation from the universe that things are going to go in a positive direction with who this is. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, during this time period, and remember, like I said, it can resonate all, you know, different types of way. For some of you, like I said, this is simply a partnership. And, you know, Taurus, you could be having a moment. I don't know. You could be traveling for work, chilling in your hotel room, and you're sitting there having a whole, you know, come to Jesus moment with yourself about how how much you love your person. And you're sitting there looking at your phone like, you going to call me, boo, or what? And I feel like they'll call you. Okay. <laughs> Obviously, something made you just click on this reading, um, you know, or maybe you're, you know, some of you are having a whole moment where you're thinking like, I'm going to have to leave this behind or, you know, move on because this person's not doing something that I feel like they should do. Okay. Um, I think they are. I think it's just. It's going to take them stepping out of their comfort zone. I don't feel like this person has negative thoughts about you, Taurus. Now, I do get with the scorpion energy. Um, I'm getting like, there's something still a bit, there's something here between you two that you're going to have to, because um, obviously if the magician's here. At some level in this connection, Taurus, you've hit rock bottom. I don't know what what that is, but to some capacity, we've reached a low vibration in this connection, right? But there's only, so now you can only go up from here. That's what I'm hearing with this connection. We can only go up from here, okay? Um, you know, for those of you that know who this is, and even if you don't, right, how I'm reading this, even if you don't know who this person is, Taurus, um, for you in your love life, I think you have a lot of clarity as to what type of loving, what type of uh, relationship serves you and what doesn't. I think you have clarity on, you know, what is karmic, what's no good for you, what you don't want. And you know, a lot of times we need to experience what we don't want so that we understand really what we do want. OK, so that's what else I'm getting with you if you don't know who this is. All right. Um, regardless. Um, what I was saying is, I think to some degree. Rock bottom for you has been hit in your love life or in, in a connection or in this relationship. There's something there, right? Um, so now with the magician, now we have alchemy. So we have, um, I just heard the alchemist, right? It's, and I, I feel like that's, I feel like you're going to get what you want. <laughs> I do. I mean, I'm somebody that believes that, you know, you are the creator of your world. So yes, you will get what you want regardless. But I do think, especially in this case, in this reading from the energy that I'm picking up on right now, um, this person wants you a part of their future. At the very least, Taurus, that's what you can walk away from this reading, knowing from who I pick up on and whoever this is. It, I mean, they seem great. It seems like somebody you would, uh, you want them to be a part of your future. Okay. I don't feel like there's any question there. I do get for a lot of you, this person is at a distance. Okay. This person would probably need to travel to where you're at. Okay. Hmm. All right, Taurus. So that's what I'm seeing for what is going on in your love life or you know current situation uh, like I've been telling the other signs I really hope this lighting is okay all right y'all the ring light is just a little too bright for me and I just can't you know what I'm saying all right <clears throat> that's my Scorpio energy I just I love it dark I don't know you know the light behind is fine but right there mm-mm 
All right, here we go. All right, so let's see what happens next, Taurus. Feel free to, oh, Jesus. What happens next? We've got secrets, okay? I haven't told you everything, everything. Oh, new chapter, fell down. I, I feel like there's a lot, I'm getting a lot of positive energy here with you and this person, Taurus, I really am. Clarify um, how Taurus and their person are moving forward together. I wanna finish the question, Five of Cups came out, which is, remember I said reflection? I feel like this is where you all are at right now, okay? And that's okay, because what I'm saying is, Sometimes people are like, oh God, I hate being here. But the beauty of being, you know, beauty of being down is it's only up from here, right? When you understand alchemy and how this all works, it's like, <laughs> honestly, y'all are going to think I'm weird, but that's really what gets me going. Like when I, you know, am on, am on kind of like a downward spiral or just feel like, you know, certain things keep happening back to back to back. I smile because I'm like, all right, what's going to happen? Because we know if, if there's all this negative energy, that's all the energy, that's energy that I need to go ahead and create something new and different, you know, and a new beginning in my life. So um, let's see, clarify. How are Taurus and their person moving forward together next? How are these two moving forward together next? All right, see the Nine of Cups. Six of Swords, Six of Wands. There's your Emperor. There's your Emperor. Six of Swords. I feel like it's coming to you, babe. That's that's communication, that's forward movement. That's all coming to you. Six, Nine of Pentacles is you. Six of Pentacles also. Um, some of you have a moon in Taurus. There's your Wheel of Fortune. Oh, yeah. I, I just get a good vibe. Like, I know certain readings and cards and stuff like that. <clears throat> Even if you don't watch the extended, you just need to um, think positively about what it is that you're wanting here. Because, you know, with you all have, you all have this moon energy. So it's like you can feel this. That's what I was getting with you, Taurus. You can feel what's going on. So... If you're watching this reading, you're like, no, this shit hits, this resonates, then own it. Own that your your wish is about to be fulfilled. Just own it. That's it. Okay, Claire. Oh. Beach. Look. <laughs> Cupid's arrow. Look at that. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Well, what I say, just own it. You don't need to, you don't need to worry about it. What you want, you just need to acknowledge that the universe in this place is just like a genie. It's, it's, you rub on the lamp and you, and the genie comes out and says, your wish is my command. That's all you need to know. And then keep going on about your business. Like it's already happened. That's it. That's all it is. All right, guys, so Secrets, Nine of Cups, and Cupid's Arrow. We're going to get into this in your extended. Um, the link is below in the description, top of the comments for Vimeo. Um, we're going to pull the rest of the cards for what I see happening next. We're going to talk about what this person wants versus what they think is going to happen with you, Taurus. I'm going to pull the outcome I get. We're going to pull from the Time Oracle deck to give you a timeline of things going to pull from the Crystal Spirits Oracle deck, give you advice along with my cards to give you advice on what you should be doing. All right. If you feel like that's going to be beneficial, and if it's going to help you in this connection, then click the link below, like I said, and we're going to continue reading over on Vimeo. Taurus, if this is where we part ways, I love you guys. Good luck with everything. Okay. And I will see you soon. Peace.